The Orient Express has been turned into Lego. Let's see how they did and why some Lego train fans might be skipping this. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about Lego set news reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. The LEGO Orient Express train will be released on the 1st of December 2023. It has an item number of 21344 and has 2,540 pieces. It's an 18 plus set. The upcoming set features the Orient Express train consisting of a locomotive, a tender or coal car and two carriages, a sleeper car and a dining car. The locomotive is stunning. It's sleek and makes fantastic use of curved pieces. The two carriages are gloriously detailed. There are some printed elements in this set as well as stickers. I think these pieces really add to the luxurious look and feel of this train. The dining cart has a table and a bar. I'll have a glass of Prosecco please. The sleeper car has a seating area so your minifigures can play backgammon, as well as a bed, a desk with a typewriter and a washroom. This is a Lego idea set, which means it was designed by a fan. The fan designer is Thomas Lejeune and as usual with Lego idea sets, you can look forward to learning more about him and his design in the instructions booklet included with the set. If you've seen this set on the LEGO Ideas website, you might have noticed the original design was green, but now the final product is blue. According to Jay's Brick blog, I've put the link in the description below, this was a decision made by Orient Express who LEGO worked with, to be in keeping with La Dolce Vita, which will run in 2024. Personally, I like the blue. I think it's a nice shade but I appreciate there are people who will prefer the original green. This Lego train has been given the name Sapphire Star. I like it and it matches the colour. It's a beautiful set. So why might Lego train fans not want this? This model is compatible with the Lego track system, so it'll fit L gauge tracks. However, according to Lego, it isn't designed to be motorised due to the weight. That feels like a shame, especially considering the cost, and I can imagine seeing this running in a Lego scene would be amazing. Of course, what Lego designs and what people do with the pieces aren't always the same, and so I can imagine many people will motorise this themselves. One thing to keep in mind is that this set is a little wider than other Lego trains due to the extra details, so please don't send this hurtling down a narrow tunnel in your Lego city. This set comes with eight minifigures. There are several members of staff and a variety of passengers, including a film director that is based on the fan designer who created this set. But which one is Ratchet? Sorry, I had an Agatha Christie era a year or two ago and I binged a bunch of her books. Of course, I read Murder on the Orient Express, but this set isn't part of that IP. This set doesn't come cheap. In the UK, it'll cost £259.99. In the US, it'll be $299.99. And in parts of Europe, it'll be €299.99. I do think that is a little high, especially since it doesn't feature a motor. Also, in comparison to the Hogwarts Express, which has double the number of pieces and the Harry Potter IP associated with it, the Orient Express doesn't feel like a bargain at all. Overall, this is a nice set, but I feel it's missed the mark a little. Lego has a horrible trend of late releasing trains without the motor, and yes, I'm coming back to the many Hogwarts Expresses we've had. I won't be buying this set. I'd be more tempted if it came with a Poirot minifigure. How about you? What are your thoughts? Will you get this? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming LEGO news. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!